Hey, it's Darkwaker and today I'm going to explain to you guys how to play mid lane and as a champion we are playing Talon. He is a very strong AP mid laner currently. I would say L'Oreal, Zil and him are the strongest at the moment and I hope you guys can learn a lot from what I'm uh, from the gameplay and now level 1 the Mina hooked the Illumia so that we get some free damage off of her and as a mid laner your job is to always try to clear the wave and then roam around and help your jungler or try to get the gank off in the other side lanes and right now I see that I was pinging that Illumia is miss, but she's still there. I'm level 2 and have full life while she got some poke from the early engage. And now I'm trying to poke her even more so that I'm that I can pressure her onto the tower that I get uh, so that I can uh, roam around. And now Wukong is trying to kill me. But I'm Talon and I have uh, some dashes so I still got away. Batman roamed, uh, roamed mid lane, st uh, stunned her with, uh, uh, with uh, his stun. Or should I say his uh, boomerang. And so we get kill for free. We see that the Wukong is at the top lane. And he might come to the bot lane, uh, might come to the mid lane. So we are scouting for them and are prepared if uh, he's coming. We still took some damage, which is not that good. And right now, I missed my first skill, and Batman decided to dive Illumia, and he died for free. So that was unfortunate. We see, we know that Superman always wants to roam around, so we have to stay under the tower because it's risky to go out so far. And now we are scared either Wukong is doing the Drake buff or he is roaming to um, mid lane. So we stay uh, in front of our tower and we see that they are fighting at the mini Drake. We are immediately roaming and trying to help if something happens. The Maron tries to do the red buff now, we follow up. And we get the Illumia. So as so as a mid laner you you always want to roam around whenever it's possible. Try to get as much as farm as possible try to push your lanes and then you go around and try to help the other guys try to force stuff at the opponent's jungle or try to gank at other lanes if possible right now we are just doing the bird so we get some additional gold and the vision effect which is pretty nice to know where the opponents are Roaming to the mid lane again, probably pushing it out so that we can keep uh, roaming. So the most important part is always to push your lane out so it's easier to roam around. We see that Batman tries to gank, we get our second skill off, shoot our ulti, still get him and now we are really low. Wukong is trying to kill us, we are trying to kite back. Our using the second skill in combination with the ultimate and we still manage to get Wukong off but we die. The Batman is so low and still uh, successfully kills the Violet which is really good and now they get even Superman and the Maron decides to steal the red buff 
and we get even even more um, map pressure since we're stealing so much stuff uh, from the opponent. Trying to push the mid lane once again, and then we are pop oh then I think we are forcing the Drake since it's uh, coming back soon, and we are in a lead position. The Maron is really strong at the moment. I'm pretty strong too, I would say. I'm 3-1-3. I see. Right now, that was really greedy from, or should I say, really. Yeah, I yes, it's it was really greedy from the Mina to go into them since the Maron decided to do the Drake buff, which is more important. So she got caught, even though we were in a lead position. So always try to stay with the team. Don't go into un unnecessary fights if it if it's not uh, forced. Trying to push the wave once again, and then we see where we can roam around. We see that uh, Wukong is doing blue buff. We decide to go th decided to go there, but we took some tower hits, so we now go. Go to the bot lane since uh, Omar is fighting with Violet and Tane. Jumping using my ult, the Tane blocked my ult, which is pretty good. Then Illumia ult comes out. We are pretty low, but we are about to get passive, and we get the passive. That's just really nice. And I think I will do uh, I will do a how to play uh, Talon video soon. But uh, for the jungle, I will do a guide for him there. And right now, we are focusing more on um, how to play as a mid laner. What's your job? How? What do you have to consider always? I would say the important part is to know when and where to roam. Try trying to help your mates out. And in a team fight, you are a mage. So you try to stay behind. You are basically the backline uh, who deals a lot of AOE damage. So you always try to stay behind, try to poke their opponents, try to deal as much damage as possible since you are one of the main damage dealers with the AD carry. And if possible, try to focus the squishies which didn't uh, build so much uh, magic resist yet, since the me meta is currently focusing uh, on building armor, so as a mage your job is to focus uh, the squishies or even the tanks that didn't uh, build much magic resist yet. And as you saw in the team fight, you are so strong as a talon, you, do, you deal so much damage, try to always pick off or should I say KS, uh, the kills with your ultimate so you get resets. And you you try to stack your passive right before the team fight, then come with like 3 or 4 uh, stacks into the team fight, use your first, jump in with your second, now you have passive, now you jump uh, jump out again, and with your passive you, deal, uh, you dealt a lot of damage. And so you are likely to already mm, are able to snipe someone with your ultimate. And now we see that Batman is sniping off the Illumia, gets her off, which is really nice for us. We are now clearing the wave at the bot lane. And as a Talon, you can do a really nice combo to get double passive off. Uh, that's something I got from freaky a streamer and he told me that that you can stack four you can try to stack four uh, passive stacks right before team fight then if you use your ultimate and can um, snipe someone off you will get a reset on your passive and uh, since you are since you already had four and use your ultimate you just got the passive off and it reset again so you can get a double passive combination of so that you have like 10 stacks and then you have incredible damage with your rear sky uh, I don't know how to pronounce this 
Reas Reascape, or I don't know what's the English term. Um, you get so much magic life steal, and you can sustain really nice in a team fight, do a lot of damage. And right now, I fucked up basically. I was trying to do the blue buff really quick, and I already saw Wukong, um, and he was missing again. So I wasn't sure if I was fast enough, but either way, I should have uh, should have not done it or go the right side because when I went the left side, I got caught. But if I went the right side, I might have survived. So that was pretty bad on my part. Now we're just trying to clean the wave, and we see, and we're trying to do blue buff now, and then we're trying to join the team fight, but they are already winning without us since they have Dark Slayer buff, and they are about to finish. So I will summarize really quick what you should. Uh, Consider as uh, what you uh, what uh, what's your job as a mid laner. Try to clear the wave as quick as possible, and then try to roam around. That's basically the most important thing. Roam around whenever it's possible, and try to be there where you should be. Try to contest buffs as possible. Try to get ganks off if uh, if it's a free gank. And in a team fight. Try to stay behind, stay behind your tanks, and try to deal as much as uh, deal as much as damage as possible, and try to focus the AD carries or the squishies that are free kill with your magic damage. So I hope you guys learned a lot, uh, learned some things uh, from this gameplay and this guide basically, and we see. You, I see you next time. See ya.